still hitting the high notes, I see. Keith and Gemma are still with us, so let's open up today's debate by putting them at the mercy of your comments and questions. Now, we've got a caller. We have Foo Simmons from Kent. Hi, Foo. Hello. Good evening to you. And um, what would you like to say to our lovely panel today? Well, I was just, I'm just wondering if you agree with me. I think Nadine is so two-faced, typical politician, stirring it all the time, bit of a nightmare. Plus, I think I, I want David Hay to win. He, he's fantastic. But, yeah, my main concern is Nadine. She's so two-faced. Two-faced. Do you agree with that? What do you think? Yeah. Two-faced, guys? Yeah, quite, yeah, she is two faced. Yeah. I mean, she's. She's I literally think she's... had two faces, though, hasn't she? Pre <laughs> 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 and post op. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Um, but do you think that she wouldn't be willing to say to someone's face what she thought of them? Is, it, is she very much behind no, people's backs? No, she's a politician. They're trained just to talk around the subject. I think she's one of the most boring politicians I've, I've, I've met. How many politicians have you met, Joe? I've met quite a few in my day. <laughs> <laughs> but Joe, I don't want to go into it now, but... In your opinion, honest. who's an exciting politician? Exciting. I'd like, who's the big dude that punched him in the face? <laughs> Prescott. <laughs> Prescott. Prescott would have been brilliant. <laughs> the big dude who punched him in the face. Priceless. Uh, Fu, thanks very much for your comment. Um, Fu there says he's a big fan of David. David seems to... Everyone seems to like. No one really has that much of a bad word against him. Is that just? Is he kind of ticking all the boxes for everyone? Gemma? He's doing all right, isn't he? He's just a nice guy, and mm -hmm. he's not being mean or. No, I and mean, we might meet him outside of here. And he used to be called the dentist. I think he's great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he reminds me, like he reminds me a lot like Mark from last year. Mark come in with everyone thinking one thing of him, mm. and then he changed everyone's perception. I think David come in with everyone thinking he's slightly arrogant, but he's not. He's a lovely man, I think. Anyway. And um, there's an interesting question here. I'm going to ask the three of you um, and see who comes close. Katie Phillips wants to know, first of all, Keith, uh, how do you think Hugo will get on in the trial? How many stars do you think he's going to get? I don't think he's going to do well at all. No? I, I, I think maybe two, three. Two, two, two or three. three. Okay, Gemma. I'm going to say four with tears. Four with tears. <laughs> we'll get tears no matter what. Joe? Uh, from what I've seen down there, I reckon he might do pretty well. I think I'm going to say ten. Ten. Mm, nice. Oh. And Rob, finally, what do you think? Um, how many stars? Stars. I think he's going to do all right. I think he's going to surprise us. Eight. Eight. Okay, interesting. And I'm gonna say five. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone else say five? No, no but, grand. Okay. Anyway. Uh, okay, another question here we have um, to the panel. Um, who do you think will survive the longest in the bed bugs challenge? We just saw a teaser there at the end of the IGF One show. Mm, probably the nastiest challenge, and um, they did it last year. I remember Mark right last year screaming with the rats. The best scream ever. Best. Mm. <laughs> he was such a screamer. Um, so it's quite. It's, it's mentally, <laughs> physically. Mark, uh, that's terrible. <laughs> Mark's a screamer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you picked up on that. Um, who do you think will last the longest in, in that? You're, you're contained. There's bugs. I think in there. David Hay will. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything he can't do? I don't know, but I just think for that type yeah. of it, you know that type of trial. It's more about just kind of going to another place, relaxing and taking it easy. And I think he's, he's the one that's been most consistent all the way through. So I think he'll be able to I, uh, switch off, you know. I think he might struggle with this one because yeah. it's not a physical challenge. It's more of a mental. I think maybe it's Lamar. I think he'll have a good crack yeah. at it. Or maybe uh, Charlie. I think David. Colin. I'd, I'd love to say Rosemary. Wouldn't it be wicked Aww. if Rosemary was just like, yes. <laughs> but <laughs> I, think, I think it probably will be David. I'd love yeah. to see Charlie do well in it. I mean, a yeah. girl that cries because of the heat. <laughs> <is. Yeah. laughs> Classic. I mean, if it was on that one clip, she'd win this for me. You know what, I mean? uh, well, what are other people saying online? Oh, question, questions? question for Keith. Keith? Um, you, your character, Coronation Street, was a chef. If he was in the camp, would you take over the cooking? No, definitely not. No? No, no, I'd let somebody else cater for that. I think she's got confused with real life and <laughs> a character. <laughs> we all do. I wouldn't know what to do with a crocodile's foot. Uh, Gemma, um, question for you from uh, Callan J. Hodges. What's been the funniest moment in the series so far? That fajitas clip was pretty amazing. <laughs> Watching her cry, I, she's uh, so hungry. I, was on, I did my show on Saturday morning yeah. back at home and uh, we clipped the farting yeah. and the laughter. Just that, I love that delirium thing where people just laugh for no reason. It's we so love it. It's what we do in the show a lot, laugh for no reason. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> we are fast approaching the end of tonight's show. <laughs> just dying for Ron. She was. Rob, tell us what he's learned. Off you go, Rob. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> our celebrities are almost half.